Hello little friends. We are back again to our online story classes. We start with a mantra. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotish Gamaya Mrityodma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Lead us from unreal to the real. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immortality. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. We continue with the famous incidents from the great life of Swami Vivekananda. With the blessings and protection of Holy Mother, Swami Vivekananda set out to deliver his message to the world from the platform of the Parliament of Religions to be held in America. Vivekananda commenced his journey to America on May 31st, 1893 from Mumbai by a ship. He landed in the port of Vancouver from where he took a train to Chicago the venue of the World Parliament of Religions. In the train, Vivekananda's majestic appearance and brilliant conversation struck a fellow traveller, Mrs. Kate Sanborn. She was an elderly rich lady from Boston. She was very impressed with Vivekananda's noble personality. She promised I shall be happy to have you as my guest at my home in Boston and I will introduce you to other learned men. Vivekananda was then on his way to Chicago and didn't accept that invitation immediately. At Chicago, Vivekananda found out that the parliament was scheduled to begin two months later. Moreover, the registration date for delegates was over and also he did not have any relevant papers to represent Hinduism. It was a great blow for Vivekananda. He knew nothing of these official document things. He didn't know at all. Now, he was to wait for two months and he had hardly any money with him. And where would he get official papers in a foreign land? Vivekananda was in great trouble. But Vivekananda being Vivekananda kept up his spirits. As Chicago was a very expensive city, he decided to go to Boston. He contacted Mrs. Sanborn. Remember, she invited him. Vivekananda was received most gladly by her. As promised, Mrs. Sanborn introduced Vivekananda to the renowned scholars of Boston. Among them was Professor John Henry Wright, a professor of Greek history at Harvard University the number one university in the whole world. John Wright recognized Vivekananda's blazing intellect. He gave Vivekananda a letter of introduction to the officials of the Parliament of Religions. He also gave him the passage money to Chicago and he also arranged all relevant papers. Problems solved. Vivekananda returned to Chicago, but unfortunately, he lost the address of the committee in charge of the delegates. He did not know where to return for help. As he was a monk, he begged for food and shelter. But America is not India. Nobody gave him any money whatsoever, no food, no shelter. 
he was rudely turned out from every home. Finally, he had to spend the night in a box car in the railway station. He woke up early in the morning and he felt very tired and very hungry. He did not know what to do. He just kept on walking. He reached a street which he found was inhabited with rich people. He started to beg for food again, but nobody gave him anything like the previous day. In some houses, the servants insulted him for begging. Vivekananda was exhausted and decided to wait for the will of God. He thought that God has brought him here, so it was God who will show him a way. Thinking so, he sat down on a sidewalk in Lincoln Park. After some time, a fashionable lady came out of a residence on the other side of the road and went up to Vivekananda. She inquired if Vivekananda was a delegate at the Parliament of Religions. Vivekananda saw a ray of hope. He told her everything. The lady invited him to her home. He offered breakfast to him. He was rested and then she took him to the office of the parliament. Vivekananda gave them the letter of introduction which Professor Wright had given him and the committee accept, accepted him gladly as a delegate. This lady's name was Mary Hale. He played a big role in Vivekananda's later life. And her husband and children also became very close to Vivekananda. Now, the great thing. On 11 September 1893, the Parliament of the World's Religions was opened at sessions in Columbia Hall at the Art Institute of Chicago. On the days there were 60 eminent speakers representing different religions and different countries of the world. Swami Vivekananda sat in front with the other delegates. About 7,000 Americans made up the audience. Most of them were elites of the society. Swami Vivekananda felt nervous as it was a large gathering of eminent people and a grand occasion. All the speakers were speaking out from a written paper, but Vivekananda had none. He was not prepared at all. The chairman requested Vivekananda to speak again and again, but Vivekananda kept on postponing. Finally, in the afternoon, the chairman announced Vivekananda's name without asking him. Vivekananda now had to stand up and face the audience. Vivekananda bowed to Devi Saraswati. He addressed the audience, sisters and brothers of America and 7,000 people of the audience began to clap and cheer. They were tremendously moved by the warm way Vivekananda addressed them. Everyone in the audience was on their feet, applauding and cheering. This applause went on for several minutes. Even Vivekananda was very surprised. After the clapping came, came down, Vivekananda began his speech by thanking America, the youngest of the nations, in the name of India, the most ancient monastic order of the world. 
He spoke about universal toleration and acceptance as preached by the Hindu scriptures. There was not a word of criticism for any religion. His short speech presented Hinduism as a great religion which opens its arms to all. This means that all religions were worthy of respect and Hinduism teaches us that we should accept every one of them. This is known as universal toleration and acceptance. The other speakers spoke only of their own religions. But Vivekananda spoke about the truth in all the religions. The audience was impressed and Vivekananda's speech was very well appreciated by one and all. Overnight, Vivekananda became a famous personality. The next day, all the newspapers featured him. The streets of Chicago were full of Vivekananda's posters. People were talking about Vivekananda and his greatness as a speaker. And as it seemed as if the, there were no other speakers at all. Eyewitnesses said, and I quote, At the parliament of the religions, when that young man got up and said, Sisters and brothers of America, 7,000 people rose to their feet as a tribute to something they knew not what. When the lecture was over, People walked over the benches to get near him. Unquote. Later, Vivekananda delivered many speeches at the Parliament of Religions. I'll tell you something funny. Daily, the chairman scheduled Vivekananda's speech for the end so that people would stay back as he had become everyone's favorite. When people started to leave the hall, the chairman would announce that Swami Vivekananda was going to give a short speech after some time. The audience would stay back so, so that they can listen to Vivekananda's speech. The elite society of America was impressed with Swami Vivekananda. It is a matter of immense pride for every Indian. Don't you think so? Concluding prayer time. Om Bhur Bhuvasuva Tatsavidur Varenyam Bhargo Devasa Dhimahi Dhyo Yonna Prachodaya Om